Okay everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how you can make water flow uphill. So it seems impossible. So the experiment that I'm going to be doing today is actually based on a research paper from 2006 called Self-Propelled Leiden Frost Droplets. And in that paper, they describe droplets that are self-propelled from the Leiden Frost effect. The Leiden Frost effect happens when you get a surface so hot that it creates a pocket of gas beneath the liquid so that the liquid is no longer in contact with the hot surface directly, but rather there's a layer of gas in between. So that keeps the droplet kind of insulated from the hot surface so it doesn't really boil away very fast, it kind of just floats on top of it. So you can see as I heat this metal sheet here, it initially just boils the water very quickly, but then as it gets hotter and hotter, the droplet just kind of floats on there and bounces. So it doesn't disappear quickly, in fact it floats on it and stays for a long time, almost as if it's hydrophobic. So the Leidenfrost effect is creating this water vapor pocket underneath, and that actually has some force to it. So it's keeping it levitated and gravity's pushing it down. So it's always pushing it up, gravity's pushing it down. So it does have some force behind the droplet. So the idea behind this experiment is because the Leiden frost effect is creating this gas that's kind of pushing the droplet, if you could create slanted walls that jut back down and go back and forth like that, then you could actually create a droplet that propels itself forward. And if you do everything just right, that means that it doesn't only propel itself forward, but you could actually get it to climb an incline, basically like it's climbing little stairs upward. Now I really wanted to create a way that I could do this without having to have access to machinery that can create these slots in the metal. Because in experiments that I've seen in the past doing this type of thing, you have to have access to basically a CNC machine, a high precision machine that can cut these slots at an angle as it goes up a metal block. But I realized today that basically you have access to one of these if you can just go to a hardware store and buy a metal file like this. So this file is basically exactly what I need. It's a solid piece of metal that has slots cut into it at a certain angle. So today I'm going to be trying to see if I can make water droplets climb these files here. Okay, so first we'll just do a proof of concept. So let's heat our file up here to the Leiden frost temperature, basically until we see the droplets start to kind of flow on top of it. Okay, you can see them just basically floating and rolling off of it. But look what's happening when it's hitting the ridges there. You can see it's getting pushed off of them. So it looks like this is working. So this isn't really an angle, it's pretty flat right here, but notice when the droplets hit the ridge part of the file, it shoots off of it. So it's really propelling the drop forward. It does look like these drops are going to be able to climb it at an angle. Okay, now let's give the file an angle and see if the droplets can actually climb it. Here we go. Let's heat it up. and go. Whoa, this is amazing. Look at the droplet just go up it like that. It's like it's climbing a flight of stairs going upwards. So you can see the file is sloped downward but the droplet rolls upward. This is so cool. I can't believe with just a general mill file that you can get at a hardware store, you can do this type of experiment. So you can see the problem with using just one mill file is that the droplets roll off of it to the side. So in order to combat that and get it to stay in the same spot, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put two of them together and try to keep it at the center crease of the two files. So you can see that it actually slopes downward. You can see the balls roll downward. But as I drop the droplets, they go upward. This is so cool. So you can see that I can't actually get it to go all the way up the file. 
That's because at the center of the file here, it's actually too hot. If you get it too hot, it's not actually creating enough vapor because the vapor is actually insulating it enough that it's not boiling off more vapor, so it doesn't give it enough propulsion to push it forward. So if it's too hot, it doesn't work very well. So at the center, you can see the drops just roll downward, but if I move towards the edge, they go up. So the key to getting this to work for the drop to roll all the way upward would be uniform heating. And in the setup that I have here, just using fire, I'm not able to do that but it, you could easily set it up where you have some heating bed that's heating it uniformly and you could get it to roll all the way up easily. Okay, thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified when my latest video's out. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.